Ugh. Thank God Thanksgiving's over with. Now it's time to set the table for Christmas, honey. <laughs> people and welcome to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is Carl Anthony and I'm excited that you are joining me because today's video is all about setting the table for Christmas now girlfriend it is time for you to pack up that Thanksgiving and fall decor and put it away because the Christmas season is upon us now I am an individual who is notorious for throwing a last minute dinner party. And I must get ready for that. Now, while I don't have any dinner party on the books just yet, I just may. So, we are going to set my dining room table for such. Now, my concept or my theme is going to be the same way that it is in my entryway and in my formal living room. We're going to carry that over right into this space. But I want you to do me a favor. I want you to close your eyes and recede and think about this particular concept. Imagine you were in your best dress. You have your hair and makeup done and you go to a dinner party and it is by candlelight. That is sexy. And that is the idea that I want to be able to recreate. Now, I'll talk to you guys about that in my entry where I told you that I wanted to do something with candle holders. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to figure out a plan and a way of how I incorporate candles for dinner. But before we do so, let me show you what this space looked like just last year. Now you guys are going to hear me say time and time again that last year's theme was beautiful and I really enjoyed using that same design concept right here in this space. This year, a classic Christmas is going to help us set the table. Now a classic Christmas for me means it being classy, sexy, and beautiful. So we're going to keep it simple, but again, we're going to be having dinner by candlelight. So, this table here, which I got from American Signature Furniture, allows me to sit right here, as you see, six people, and even move it up to 10 to 12. I'm going to link the table for you for those of you that are interested in it, but we're going to only, again, set the table for six people. We're going to keep it small and intimate and sexy. Now, typically when I do set the table for the holidays, I like to start with the centerpiece. In the past, I've done garland, I've used picks and sprays, I filled it out, it's matched my tree, it's matched the stairwell. Um, but this year, we're gonna do something a little different in the same theme, but just a little more simple and toned down. So how about we set the table together, shall we? While I wipe this table off, I am interested to know how you all set your tables for the holiday season. What do you do? Do you use your fine china? Do you set the table formally? Do you just leave it alone and leave it bare? Something that I used to do. I used to not set the table. I used to leave it like this. But now that I've gotten a little older, wiser, sexier, I like to set the table and I like to keep it in the same thing. So tell me in the comments, what you all do to set your tables. Now, do you guys remember from my last video, I talked about using drapery or fabric under some of the things that are already in my home. The Christmas tree, the wooden tree, the reindeer at the front door. Well, for that consistency and that continuity piece that I always talk about, I believe that we are going to be using this as our base on the table. Now, also because I'm not using garland, I do need something to go under um, these candles because 
if I'm being a little selfish, if I'm being a little careful, I do not want candle wax on my table. So to help catch that and to protect my table, we are going to use this as our base. So let's see how it comes out. I've never used a fabric um, to set the table with. So this is going to be a little new, but there will be no rhyme and no reason for how I set this up. I just want it to just look beautiful. I want it to just flow and just be very effortless and very simple. So no rhyme, no reason for how we put this together. We're just gonna put it on the table. about the details of the table. But actually before we do, let me put a quick disclaimer out there. I know that there are some of you that would get a little finger happy and want to get in those comments and tell me that my chandelier is too low to my table in comparison to these candle holders. It is not. My chandelier is the appropriate height from the ceiling to my table. And these candle holders, they will be okay if I decide to light them because my chandelier, it moves. Look at that. So guess what? It will be okay. I will not harm my chandelier. I will not burn my house down. It is okay. This is for a moment. This is for a look. Okay. So, woosa. Okay. Now let's talk about the details of the table. So, when I think about setting a table, when I think about um, creating a centerpiece, obviously that centerpiece is going to be the first thing because it is going to be that eye appeal. It is going to be that factor that really draws your dinner guest into it. And so that is the reason why you start with it first. So here, the one thing that I started with was this beautiful base here. I used drapery and I told you guys about it in my other videos. I have used them throughout. Um, this Christmas season. I love the color of them. You know what? I didn't have to go to the fabric store to go and purchase fabric to be able to do this. They're just old drapes. The one thing I do believe in when you are setting the table is just use what you have. You do not need to go out and go buy anything when you are setting your table. Use what you have. Trust me, it will be a moment as long as you are taking your time and you are being creative. Next, I added these absolutely beautiful 
candle holders. And I added just different shades, different varieties of them. They're from so many different stores. I've used them throughout the years. And so every single one that I had, I just threw it on the table. No rhyme, no reason for how I structured it. I just wanted it to look beautiful. And so that is the reason why I decided to add them. The very next thing that I added to the table was some ornaments, just to kind of give it a little more depth, a little more context and just some more eye appeal. I felt like some of the areas just looked a little blank. And so that's the reason why I added some of these, can oh, excuse me, some of these ornaments. Now, these ornaments are actually found on my tree as well. So that's that consistency and continuity piece, just like the, the drapes here. The last thing that I added to this particular centerpiece were these little gold trees. I love these so much. They are beautiful and they just provide some fun, cool little energy. Again, I love um, things that are very fun and playful and that's the reason why I decided to add them. Now let's talk about the table setting. So for me, there's no right or wrong way for how you set the table when it comes to putting out your serveware, okay? Your serveware, your dinerware, all of that, I just feel like you should be able to use it and place it on the table how you see fit. So for me, I use some gold plates. Um, they are so beautiful. I love the color in them. They are shiny. I just, I, I love just, you know, the definition um, that they provide in the color. I added a plate to it. I added a dinner napkin. I love dinner napkins. I use them every single day versus using paper towels. And so I had some extras, so I just added them there. And then the one finishing touch that I added to this space, and remember I always talk about completing the look, that one thing that I added was these beautiful ornaments. I tied some ribbon to it and just set them right here in the center. And it definitely gives me what I feel that very classic and beautiful look. Again, remember I talked about I wanted my dinner guests, should I decide to have a dinner party, I wanted them to not only feel beautiful, but I wanted them to feel sexy by candlelight. And this definitely will create that moment and that experience. Because whenever you have an event, whenever you have a party, whenever you have a dinner, you should always be creating a moment that your guests will never forget. So that is all the video that I have for you all today. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and it has motivated you and inspired you just a little to start decorating and styling your tables for the Christmas season. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, everyone, stay beautiful.